it's time to up your photography game with my top tips to change your photography habits. No time to delay, let's dive right in. You would be amazed how many people don't do this. Every single time I take a photo on my iPhone, I wipe my lens with my t-shirt like this. We use our phones all the time and grease from our hands gets all over our little lens and there is nothing worse than those greasy, hazy, smudged, Vaseline-y looking photos. Remember, we're going for clean images, so make a habit of wiping your lens before every photo from here on out. Now, I know this is another obvious one, but again, you'd be amazed how many people just grab their phones and just snap a photo just carelessly. It, honestly, it, it means the difference between a crisp, clean photo and a blurry, average one. So take a second to steady yourself. A little trick I often use because my hands can get a bit shaky when I'm cold or, you know, maybe you've had a bit too much caffeine, is to take a deep breath, hold it, and then snap the photo. It really will help with getting clearer photos. Now, it is so easy to crop from a wide frame into a square, but if you shoot in a square straight up, then you can't go back. And when you shoot wide, then you give yourself many more opportunities to get the framing right in Instagram. So in the Instagram app, you can crop in and you can straighten the horizon. There's just so much you can do. Now when I talk about BG, I mean your background. So many people focus on their subject and forget about what's going on in the BG. It takes two seconds to look around the space to find a better backdrop. You know, so many times I have seen gorgeous photos of people and they're standing right in front of a really ugly parked car or a rubbish bin. Always look for the potential. It honestly requires minimal effort and can take a photo from being meh to being awesome. Now, if there is one thing I want you to take away from this training video series, it's this. Unless you are shooting on a DSLR camera like this, you should never zoom in on your phone. Why? because you lose so much clarity in your photos and the quality of your image is completely compromised and your photo will become grainy. It's just not gonna look good. So if you want to zoom closer, just move. Don't be lazy, move your feet, get closer to your subject. Don't just sit back and let your camera do all the work. Never, ever compromise on image quality. Again, this is another obvious one, but you'd be amazed how many people don't do this. Never ever use the camera inside the Instagram app. You want to use the camera app on your iPhone. Why? Well, because you can take multiple photos at a much faster rate, and to get good at taking photos, you should take any opportunity to practice. Now, in the same way that it's easy to take lots of photos, some people fall into the trap of oversharing everything and anything they capture. So please only post photos that you believe are your absolute best images. Remember, Instagram is curated. So we already know that you can take heaps of photos on your smartphone until you nail the perfect shot. But the mistake a lot of people do is they take like 20 photos of the same thing over and over hoping to get a slightly better shot. How about taking five photos in one type of framing and then changing it up? You could shoot with wide framing like this and then you can come in for a close-up framing. Same location, same time of day, but two completely different photos. So double the images for your Instagram account. Now, if you don't know what the difference is, a portrait shot is when you hold your phone like this, and a landscape shot is when you hold your phone like this. So I always try to shoot in both portrait and landscape. This is another good habit to make because once again, you're changing up the perspective. You never know what's gonna work best until you try it out. 
it just might surprise you what will look better. Hot tip, just because you're shooting an actual landscape does not mean that you always have to frame it in landscape. Check out this landscape shot I took in portrait framing. Especially if you've got a big smartphone. To avoid that blur when you're trying to awkwardly push that button to take a photo of yourself, use the timer mode. Set it to three seconds, get your arm into position, and then snap. Guarantee you will get a much clearer photo. Now, I hate to break it to you, but gone are the days of over-filtering your photos. That trend has passed, especially with Instagram filters. So be gentle with your filtering application. You can regulate the strength of the filter you use. So go for a lighter touch. People crave more authentic images these days. But I will say this, filters can be fantastic for creating the color tone and palette for your Instagram account. So when you land on a filter that you love, use that same filter over and over again, and you'll soon see that the photos in your Instagram grid will have a consistent color and tone palette and will look cohesive. If you check out my Instagram, I use two types of filters over and over to create a palette tone. Whilst Instagram offers some pretty decent filters and adjusters, there are so many other fantastic photo editing apps. My all time favorite is VSCO, or as I like to call it, Visco. It offers a wide range of fantastic filters and light adjusters. And if you get sick of the same ones, you can actually upgrade and buy collections of new filters. Visco is a fantastic app and no, I did not get paid to talk about them. I just am genuinely a fan and I use the app a lot. Now this is another big tip for smartphone photographers. To get a super clear photo, always favor shooting with the sun behind your back. Smartphones aren't designed to shoot into the sun. Now, if you shoot someone with the sun directly behind them, they will be plunged into darkness and will come up as one big shadow like this. But here's the thing. I'm not saying that you can't ever shoot into the sun. You can create stunning photographs shooting into the sun like this. But you need to shoot on a proper digital SLR camera like one of these babies. There are no ifs or buts about it. Smartphone technology still has a long way to go to overcome all the complexities of light. And here's the cool thing. There are camera memory cards now with built-in Wi-Fi so that you can send the photos straight from your camera to your smartphone and upload to Instagram instantly. There are no excuses anymore for taking average photos. And in case you were wondering, my favorite memory card brand with inbuilt Wi-Fi is iFi. And if you're interested, I have created a full comprehensive four week photography program to make you the most versatile and badass DSLR photographer. I'll be spilling all my camera secrets as well as demystifying those crazy buttons and dials on your camera and I'll be giving you the key manual mode buttons that you'll actually use over and over that's seriously going to change the way you handle your camera. And if you enjoyed this free video training on social media, you'll be pleased to know that I will be diving even deeper into how to create a social media account that will throw you to the front of the pack. I'll be breaking down captioning when to post, how often to post, as well as a step-by-step -step guide on how I edit my photos using Visco, plus so much more. So if you want to take the leap into the art of photography and be a fellow shutterbug with me, then please check out my four-week intensive Photography 101 course today. I hope to see you again soon. Mwah.